What's up, B2? Capital G here. Got some more Raid Raptor action for you guys to check out. This is going to be a duel where it showcases a monster I never thought was even possible to be summoned in this deck. And man, it is amazing, especially because we know that Raid Raptors, with the addition of Wise Tricks, they can make some incredibly strong turn one plays. I've seen the boards where you make Cyber Dragon Infinity. You have your Evil Swarm Nightmare on the board for a couple of, uh, you know, disruptions against your opponent. You can also stack up those Phantom Knights of Fall blade but this one is going to be a this one's going to summon a card that is just amazing against combo decks if your opponent is playing a deck like prank kids or dark warrior or the new slash draw ftk they literally will not be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you just summon this monster and it's basically gg no re <laughs> your opponent is just like normal summon past turn i guess <laughs> let me go ahead and roll it because it was kind of surprising to see it summoned and at first i was like man you kind of trolling so he's gonna go with the uh raider after wise tricks generally you bring out Zephyros the Elite because Zephyros the Elite gives you a body on board plus it resummons itself from the graveyard and it's wing beast so it just kind of works with uh, the entire archetype to be honest even though it's a black wing monster gonna go for force tricks gonna search you will actually need Cattle Call for this play. Now, he's going to go for the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardeek. This is just, usually most people would get a Fog Blade there, but he's like, nah, I just want to go for Brigadine. I want to extend my board. And here's where the play is actually going to be. So you're going to use Cattle Call, and what you're going to do is you're going to go for the Satellite Falcon. This is a monster you generally would like never make your turn one because it really just doesn't serve a purpose. However, if you activate the new Phantom Knight, well, it's not new. It came out in what? <laughs> Invasion Vengeance. If you activate the Phantom Knight Rank Up Launch, you can actually go for true king of all calamities this is a freaking rank nine and a deck that is really based around level four monsters just wrap your head around that now he is still going to be able to go for the cyber dragon infinity play now i will say this he does make his zephyros the elite i, I guess a little just you know inconsequential at this point most people would try to use zephyros the elite for another play but it is a board that not only has hard disruption like or not hard disruption you have straight up hard negation with the cyber dragon infinity play so you can make sure that your opponent doesn't do anything stupid like activate evenly match or something like that and again if you get true king of all calamities against a combo deck there is nothing that they can do they can't use any monster effects they are not going to be able to attack with any monsters so you can see right here the uh <laughs> the heartbeat player actually has the right idea he's gonna go into zero fane and he's like all right this is definitely gonna work cap i'm gonna negate all his monster for nope <laughs> you can't use the effect you can't go into the battle phase you can't do anything if your opponent is foolish enough to put a monster in attack mode you just suck their monster up with cyber dragon infinity and then you proceed to otk them knowing that you have the infinity negate the entire time and once you actually use the infinity to take their monster then you get an additional material thus you can get an additional negate and that in that form so i think that this board is actually really good in certain situations and really i don't think that like double r's have to change that much of their play style. i mean really the only thing that you have to add to the raid raptor deck that you generally wouldn't see would be the phantom knights of uh, launch like that's pretty much it and yeah you can easily make a copy of true king of all calamities and again against a deck like prank kids against you know dark warrior or the slash draw ftk decks instead of even letting them have the potential of playing through your back row or you know your fog blades and your evil storm knight there just go true king of all calamities and just say nope you don't get to activate monster effects this turn <laughs> you don't get to attack this turn you basically can't do anything and you just instantly win the game so let's pause for one quick second and look at what the deck looks like all right so here's what the deck looks like on paper you can see that um the true king of all calamities play is something that this guy is uh is very serious about because <laughs> not only is he running double cattle call but he's running three copies of the phantom knights uh rank up launch so clearly that is an objective of his to put that on the board i don't know if you need all of these raid raptor rank ups i mean i guess you could run like one copy of raid force i mean to me i feel like soul shape is just the best one because it gets you to cyber dragon infinity and uh, you're going to be able or you're going to be sending four tricks to the to the graveyard to make the phantom knights of rusty bardic anyway so i feel like uh, soul shave is brought is probably just the best one overall and i don't know how many times you're going to be using rank ups outside of that so i feel like maybe you just cut down uh like raid force or you know cut this out completely and i probably wouldn't cut it out i'd probably you still have to run some other rank up just in case you do happen to draw your soul shave force like you want to be able to still be able to use um like wise tricks effect but 
I would be maxing out on Call by the Grave. I played against a lot of these Raid Raptor uh, builds. They're very strong and they make ridiculous turn one boards. But if you do happen to, you know, hand trap the Wise Tricks, it's a deck that definitely like a lot of its plays are shut down. And Wise Tricks is susceptible to a whole bunch of stuff because it's a card that not only can be stopped with, um, with something like Ash Blossom, but your opponent wants to have it on the board. So even if you do Ghost Ogre it, you know, that definitely hurts them where other cards might not be hurt as much because your opponent wants to use this as Link Material to go into the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardeek. So the card is susceptible super duper to hand traps, and that's why I feel like uh, with so much power being in the Raid Raptor turn, run, uh, turn one, I kind of feel like you have to protect that power, and you got to run three copies of Call by the Grape. But, you know, the other stuff, you can, of course, go into the different directions when it comes to raid raptors you can just go for the basic evil swarm uh you know nightmare plays as he is running that and you can just rely on the phantom knights of fog blade you can get double searches of that that will require you to run more phantom knight cards but you could probably just drop the phantom knights of rusty uh, or excuse me of shea of brigadine and uh, you could just play that way